Hello. Right. I think we're ready to start. So let's get on without further ado with my Doom 3 playthrough. And the monorail, this is exactly where we left off before, right? It's down here. Oops. Oh, hello. Oh, got all them. Alright, so we want to go into Delta Labs, don't we? Oh, hello. Go on, keep beating the shit out of him, it's funny. Oh no, no, you're being serious. Oh, why are you? Oh. Immediately starts off by kicking me in the ass. What have we got here? Guns and nachos. It's a bit low res, isn't it? That Martian science and boot here? Offline. I was going to stream this yesterday, but I had a hell of a day. Bloody cars knackered again. It's literally been shit in hell. It, it's yeah, shit is the appropriate word. It's had the same problem with it. I picked up some health. I've lost all that health. Did I lose health when I... Uh, did I was I stupid and did I drop down and lose health that way? Something, something, something. Yeah. It's, it's had a reoccurring issue with the front suspension. But it went in to get... I got it fixed. It wasn't right. I think it's something to do with the track and track rod ends or something. Or the, the, the bushes or something. I don't know what the hell it is that's gone wrong on it, but it's a heap of shit. And I hate the bloody car anyway. Both camera codes are 364. Alright. And, uh... It is knocking on a bit now. Um, if I'd had the money I would have changed it a long time ago, but... It's, uh, truly pissing me off. So I wasn't in the mood Destroy. to... Destroy! Uh, I mean, I was in the mood to kill demons and shit, but not stream. Don't. I've streamed before when I was in a bad mood. <laughs> la 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 la. And, uh, it's not a good idea. All right, the uh, the tentacle arm. Automated can, turret uh, guns online. We may have a problem here. Warning: automated turret guns online. That's never a good thing, is it? Well, we'll save. When somebody's saying, you know, oh, automated turret guns are online, it's usually uh, not a positive thing. 
Don't be locked, don't be locked, don't be locked. Don't be locked. I was shitting ass. That window out. Warning. Automated turret guns online. Yes. Oh crap. Duck. Duck. Stay ducked. Come here. Warning. Automated turret guns online. How's he got past the automated turret guns that are online? Anyway, while all that's Warning. going on out there. Automated turret guns online. Do, 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 do. Warning. Automated turret guns online. Well, yeah, they're still online. That would have been more useful on the other side of the door. It does seem intent that they're going to keep sending Warning. the uh, automated turret guns online. Level four secure. Attention. Oh, there we go. Automated turret guns offline. Well, that's just marvellous. That's exactly what we wanted. What's this? Looks like a low res ghetto blaster. Move. Sound of silence. Fish. It's a hell of a gun, isn't it? Boom, 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 boom. Shamo. Okay. Helps if I actually uh, click the thing, I suppose. Right, mate. Oh, right. Didn't really have that much to play through, did I? Me, 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 me. I'm on the lookout. I want to pick up the uh, physical copies of Dead Space 1, 2, and 3. Well, 1 and 2, 3 and... Um, I won't mind streaming them at some point in the future. I have played them before. Um, I've finished, finished Dead Space. Oh, not these flying. Emergency power. All Delta operations suspended. Not them. So I've just picked up. Oh, an ammo thing. Stop it. Stop that. Just testing my reactions. Game hog. What are you? Martian Science UAC. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Emergency power only. This is the audio log of Robert Price, Delta Operational Director at charge of personnel, recruitment, evaluation, and placement. Assignment of engineers to the lower Delta labs has become almost impossible. In six months, we've gone from a volunteer surplus to a critical deficiency of qualified personnel willing to accept assignment. Increases in both pay and benefits have done little to help this situation. Through exit interviews as well as the weekly Delta medical brief, it's become apparent to everyone that the rate of sudden and unexplained mental illness is way beyond acceptable levels, even for Mars. They're derogatorily being called sub-delts up here, and I have a feeling this attitude will spread to other parts of the UAC. End of log. He had another log, didn't he? Oops. This is the audio log of Robert Price. Delta Robert Operational Price. Director in charge of personnel, recruitment, evaluation, and placement. Disciplinary Action Report 40C-8, responding to Mars City Administration request. Delta Labs 1 is currently addressing a problem concerning theft of security equipment. 
Four members of the security detail assigned to the Delta Labs have been Emergency reprimanded with three others under investigation. It seems caches of weapons, armor, and ammo have been discovered in various places throughout the Delta Labs. We've located some of the missing equipment and have information that we hope will lead us to more. I have a team investigating storage room 21D with security code 298, where I've learned stolen items may be located. I hope to recover all items and find all personnel responsible. End of log. 298. Remember that, folks. Soon, folks. Says it as if he's got an audience. Um, 298. Emergency power only. Shh. All Delta operations suspended. Systems down. Oh. No, don't. Bloody grenades. Where do I get that then? Data linker. Where's that? I guess that's the thing that goes in there. Right. Emergency power. Only. Shut up. All Delta operations suspended. Well, all these computers are still on, aren't they? What's that? Jet. I can hear you. Um, Emergency power only. All Delta operations suspended. this. What's on the information? Emergency power only. Watch All us. Delta operations suspended. Shut up. This is the this is the worst part is waiting for the things to attack. Data linker. Right, pause. I'm kicking my ass. No, I'm not. I'm not kicking my ass. I'm. 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 Blah, 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 blah. I'm equipping my kick ass weapons because this is all going to go off like. This is going to be on like Donkey Kong in a second. Something frisky is going to happen. It's too. Uh, What's up with the reactor then? Warning, reactor core offline. Well, obviously, that's the reactor. It's a shit all this place. I have to say that this UAC complex is—it's not very good. 
is constantly breaking down and needing attention. I'll suck my balls. Away with you, son. Tired of you. Yeah, doors are working now. Hey, why is the lights going dim? Now, what? Warning. There was a code. Was it two nine eight? Please follow safety procedure. Orange. Well, that restricted access. No, it didn't work. It's torso. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, I heard that before I saw it. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that then. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, come on. Oh, do I need the yeah, reactor and all that jazz? <laughs> Warning. Reactor core offline. Please follow safety procedure, Orange. Is this. Who? Oh, you. Cheap and it really when they do things like that, I think. Well, that really pissed him off there because he missed. Warning. Reactor core offline. Please follow safety procedure. What happened to the one that always attacks from behind? Look at that dude. Put him out of his misery. Scum. Stop. Who? Warning. Reactor core offline. I know. Please follow safety procedure. Orange. Where it is. Trying to outflank me. Not so, Pinkosaurus. Away with thee. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this game doesn't half know how to make you paranoid. Warning. Reactor core offline. Oh. I don't even know if I'm heading to the reactor. I'm just like wandering around. Kinda looks Alright fella. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's for your own good. Who? I'm not even gonna dignify that with a response. Warning. Reactor core offline. Actually this doesn't procedure This doesn't look much like a reactor, does it? Let's have a Let's have a synopsis of what's going on. No. No. Why am I? Take your time. Coming Warning. into this place. Oh, bloody Orange. hell, when? Your 
friends are with me now. Oh. Soon, you will join them. Marvelous. No, that's not marvelous. Stitch this, Revenant. <laughs> Well, apparently it's offline. Ah. Lots of like weird. Can I get up there? Want to go up there? Get up there? No. Get in here though. See ya. Oops. Somebody's leg. It's like, it's like being stuck in Emperor Palpatine's house. No. Lots of mental line. laughter. Please follow safety procedure, orange. Oh, you sneaky sausage. Oh, where are you? Feel the power. I don't know what this uh, code is. I'm just trying this. For... Well, that was random. I believe I remembered that. Well, I did remember it, but I didn't. <gasps> Hiding in the shadows. Procedure, Can't wait to turn the reactor back online and see what she has to say about things then. Here it comes. There's something else. What in the show is one of them? Two of them. La da 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 da. Oh, Warning. Reactor core offline. Please follow safety procedure. Orange. Wonder if the reactor core is offline, and I wonder if I should be following safety procedure. Orange. The hell's that? Oh, it's you. What I do enjoy about the... Not that. Is the fact that they clean up after them. Did they? You son of a bitch. Warning. Oh my Reactor god. Offline. Please follow safety procedure, orange. What if I... Follow safety procedure... Burgundy. What was that ninja roll it did there? Must have had its kung fu DVDs on. Things around here making ridiculous noises. Oh, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. You, you damn splash damage with that, it's so annoying, so inconsiderate. Shit! <sighs> See, took the rocket to the face there like a champ. Oh, I've broke me lift. That sucks. Warning. Reactor core offline. I can't get them. Please follow safety procedure, orange. Mm. <laughs> oh, it is. I 
can't move but where did all they come from? That is so annoying. All of those just appeared behind me. Where from? Please follow safety procedure. They like sellotape to the uh, the ceiling or something. With the old stick chair. Creaky creak is an Oh, here's the this Oh bloody hell. Oh, what is this? I'm in the shit here because Ah That's it. Just I'm not messing around anymore. Because I'm really in bad shape. Reactor core Please follow safety procedure. Shut up. Your bloody safety procedures. I don't know. Fucking hell, how many of these things are there? Oh, it's getting a bit frisky around here. I'm going to have to start restoring some order, I think. Enough of this. I'm gonna get this reactor back on and I'm gonna start taking some names and kicking some Warning. buttholes. Yeah. Please follow safety procedure. Oh, let's get this damn thing Attention. switched on. Reactor core online. Yes, apparently it's online now. Does that mean you're not gonna keep nagging me to death? Now what do you want me to do? Shut up. I can hear you up there. Shit. I was hoping you'd let me get the health first. Hang on. Of course. Let me get off the ladder. I didn't want to have to do this. I didn't want to have to resort to violence. Thought we could have had a decent conversation, but no. Get it open. Well, you bastard. Get over there. I don't like where they put the grenades on the uh, weapon select thing. Let me guess, you've got the PDA one. Oh, piss off. Oh, you see. There's just no need for that. Brian Mora. Reactor blah blah blah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Something else. Martian buddy bullshit spam emails, right? There's no else. Oh, excuse me. Nothing else I need to do up here, is there? I think if you put your tongue on that, it hurt. Putting a nine volt battery on your tongue. I've done that. 
is good. I also got electrocuted by a wall thermostat for an immersion heater as well. That was kind of not an immersion heater. Um, well, I don't know what type of heater it was. It didn't really make any difference, but that was exciting as well. That woke me up. Well, what do you know? Are you predictable bullshit? Bloody scum sucking pig dogs. Open. Irritated. What's that? Who wants it. Armour. It's for security purposes. Sure you'll understand. Right, before the bullshit in here starts, which, let's face it, that's likely to happen. Mm, ominous music playing, which means shit's about to go down. Oh, that's subtle. Is that all you've got? Is that it? Is that the best you can do? Damnable legions of hell. Shut up. Oh, look at that. Tentacle. I really don't like the fact that my shotgun will not shoot as fast as when the demonic fellas have got to it. can hear you. <laughs> well, you lamentable bastard. Communications, communications. Him bending it like Beckham round the corner there. Scum. Sorry. Shut up. Hey! Go in there. Right. Delta Authority. Delta Authority. What kind of creature, mate? You know what? If you're going to be like that, I'm going to save. I've run out of Doom chapters, by the way, to head my streaming videos, so I'm going to have to use Doom 2, which didn't use chapters as far as I remember. Is that a... it is. Oh. Don't. Hello. Hips. Of course.
Are you really still walking? Oh. I know well I patiently reload before I shoot you in the ass. Is there any goodies by the way? Who's that? Who's... Is that a turret? Boys, what the hell? Oh, ah, yeah, I forgot about these dudes. Smashed a bit there. I'd have used a grenade, but I don't trust them. Now I'm in this shit. Oh, got too close to him. Let's go melee or machine gun. Always go machine gun. Get this bloody crappy furniture out of the way. Oh, hi fella. Oh, frame rate. Oh, bloody mess. Save. Save yourself. Bloody dog. Right, that's it. I'm warm with the uh, furnishings of this place. That was a clear stitch up. Loud, you fart. What is your major malfunction? Now, hung on, of course. Alright, okay. 
Oh, Delta Labs 2, eh? Dudes. Whispering voices in my head are enticing me down that shaft. It's not very nice. The hell type of creature feature makes that noise? Johnny. Oh my god, seriously? I can hear something heavy breathing in here, which is slightly disconcerting, but... Can you see what I see? There's somebody heavy breathing in that toilet. Shall not tolerate this type of behaviour in the, uh, the latrines. Somebody's obviously had a heavy night. Such of the shits. Let's all go down the archives. No. Kick me. Bloody hell do you think you are, Bruce Lee? Well, that's due to your mate, because of the, uh... Shoot. 
quite irritated. I'll just back up a minute. I was hoping he wouldn't see me there. Oh, hello. This is the PDA of Peter Raleigh. Uh, something, this is the audio something. log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated October 2145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia. And I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrist's back in the Options are quickly dwindling. Approximately 80% of all extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning from their expeditions. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological contaminants that would lead to such drastic changes in cognitive processing. It seems that whatever this pathogen is, it attacks higher brain functions and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brain stem. Basal. We've witnessed that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become evident. Subjects in this group appear to be atrophy. Skin pales, muscles become slack, bone, teeth and fingernails become almost translucent, veiny sinews of their former selves. I have never seen anything like this in my career. Our observations continue. He sounds like a suitably menacing chapel, doesn't he? Death of Steve Jensen. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad mates, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after their return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about demon hordes feasting on our souls. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I've secured some armaments within my office. Oh, right, you're not going to tell me what the code is then? Well, sod you, Peter. I suppose you're the same, are you? Of course. Making progress, Marine? Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine.
Yeah, they're not a bastard. Come on, for fuck's sake, how many times do I have to shoot the damn bastard? Doors just open, of course. And bugger. So, hang on. So, I haven't got the code for one, one, two. I've got to be missing a PDA. running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. I have a security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. There. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. Now don't start giving me orders. Oh. Just you wait in here a minute while I, uh... Am I gonna come back and find your legs and arms scattered across the floor? More quality workmanship. Decontamination process started. Of course. Decontamination complete. Open. Have a nice day. Thanks. Hey mate, this is working I don't think. So what do we do now dad? We can't go down there because that looks like insta death. Alright, maybe I've got to go back to the way. Decontamination process started. Of course. Decontamination complete. Thanks. Have a nice day. You too. Mate, I went out there. I couldn't find it. I can't be asked. Don't have much time. Oh. Get that plasma inducer. Quickly. Jesus Christ. Thank you. 
All right. So I suppose it's not that way, is it? Cause the broken door and everything. Oh, you see, look at that. Look at it. That was embarrassing, mate, for you, because you missed me from there. Right. Operations. He said operations, so I'm going to biolabs. Because I'm a webble. Stop eating your friends. I mean, none of this behaviour. I'm sorry, what was that? He said something I didn't quite catch it. Was it that? I'm not having this behaviour anymore from these chaps. Warning. Halon systems active. <sighs> Access denied. Halon system. Well, he's got goodies in there. Turn it off. Open. Oh, look at this. What do you think? Oh, shit. Why is his grenade throwing the worst in the galaxy? Now you won't be wanting to hit me with that wrench, would you, fella? Because if you are, I'm afraid I'm going to have to fall out with you like that. Ah, I shouldn't have picked that up. That was a waste. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. Initial psychiatric interviews suggested only mild psychosis with speech, motor activity and thought processes within normal range. Paranoia <gasps> being the only psychotic element directly evident. Turn it up, I can't hear it over here. Private Steve Jensen, October 18, 2145. UAC huh. psychologist Dr. Hooper interviewing Steve Jensen, male, age 27. Steve, can you talk to me about the last few weeks, please? I don't want to talk. Well, I'm here to help you, Steve. I've tried talking. They think I'm crazy. You think I'm crazy. Steve! Hey, colleagues aren't doctors. Let me help you. No, nothing can help us. Prior sessions over a period of 72 hours revealed rapid deterioration of both physical and mental capacity, with behavior inconsistent with any known patterns. Yes. The patient was responsive for brief periods and had to be restrained during interviews. Curious. Reference interview H-3-2, Private Steve Jensen, October 21st, 2145. Splendid. Tell me what you see, Steve. I don't want to see it anymore. I don't want to feel it. <clears throat> They'll be here soon. And then you'll see it. Can you talk about what you see? <laughs> oh, gets a grab. <laughs> Steve? He's gone bye bye. Patient unresponsive, terminating interview. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia. Mm. And I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Right. Options are quickly dwindling. Indeed. Well. Jameson! I'm not doing that. Blah, blah, blah. You can all read that in here. How little time. 
just looking for codes, really. Alright. So really one can assume that it's got massively tits up before he before I even got here really. Alright, okay, so oh hang on, what was that? Medical report six. Oh seven, shut seven, up, don't eight, start. Look at that. Took his legs. You know, I can't remember what the bloody hell to do here. <laughs> do I have to build up? Do I have to build some kind of walkway over there, don't I? I think that's the, the idea. Because I can't get through this door. I think it's another example. Well, I could. If I was... Well, I couldn't. Day. I know, I think I know what I need to do. I was going to put that in there. Yeah, I need to just take... Just... You sons of bitches. Alright, I've got a good idea what I need to do. because it's not there, you dick. Right. Right, I 
think this is what I need to do. Well, that just happened. Huh. Oh well, perhaps I need to jump off it. I thought I could just stay on it, but apparently I got squished. Which is mildly annoying. In an a annoying in a mildly tight way way. Oh of course. <laughs> Of course, I'm all the way back here. Of course, I'm all the way back here. Decontamination <sighs> process it's started. Off. Decontamination complete. I don't care. Have a nice day. Sod off. Oh crap! <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. I didn't think I'd be able to kill an NPC that was important to the game. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Hello, buddies. Decontamination process started. Okay. I won't shoot him this time, I promise. I promise, complete. I promise. Okay. Have a nice day. You too. Alright, buddy, I won't shoot you this time. But it's totally unprofessional of me before and I do apologize. It didn't go as well for me this time as it did before. I'm somewhat annoyed. I want to get some ammo now. Oh, are you? And some of that, of course. Decontamination oh, forgot about started. this. Stop the decontamination process, please. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Only wanted to pick them up. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Don't shoot the fella, don't shoot the fella. What's the door come to here? Because I can't jump over. That's the one I jump. Then I open this. I think I need to go into buy. Let's save, shall we? Or should I just go into operations? I'm irritated by the fact that I died in there now. Didn't make any noise then. Stealth. Steve Resco Operations Tech Status Relocated Can't get in there Who's in there? Death Thingy No I'm fed up with it Get out of the way Open up can't get in. That's showing down on somebody in there. 
Mal Blackwell, face off. I must be ah. Let's say I must be able to get in here because he's collectibles. BDA. Frank Cinders. These names are great. As requested, the following is my initial feedback on my first trip through the portal. Private First Class Frank Cinders, dated October 15th, 2145. I, uh, hmm, I don't know exactly where to begin. Obviously, I survived the first trip and feel no worse for the wear. I, I'm not feeling any of the symptoms reported by the others who have gone in before me, but I'm at a point where I'm still trying to process everything. Right, Thankfully, the place looks deserted and devoid of any life, but uh, the flames and heat and stench of the place, I, it smells of death, decay, and burnt flesh. Tomorrow, we're going back in with some of the eggheads, um, science division, to start securing forward positions, and we expect to start sending out the mapping droids at the same time. I feel I must admit on a personal note that I, I've, I've got a really, really bad feeling about this. I don't understand what we're doing there or, or, or what we hope to prove. PFC Cinders, signing off. So it looks like I'm going to have to go to the bio control thing. Now he had the thing for 112, which is 53A. It's unusual that you end up coming quite far out of your way. Fuck off. Getting annoying. Look, if you're gonna if you're gonna be annoying, you can at least really stand still. Okay, uh this I'm not happy with. So right, I am going to have to go to the bio, bio labs, it looks like, shit flying everywhere. So it was this way, if I remember correctly. Systems active. Access denied. Says. Medical report 16 8, dated November 2nd, 2140. Patient 0 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 was suffering from Just 
Well, I don't need to go through all of that again. Motor activity and thought processes within normal range. Paranoia being the only psychotic element directly evident. Reference interview G eight A. Private Steve Jensen, October eighteenth. Oh, God. That's just annoying. Shit out. It, it was hard to describe that then. It felt like Let me help. Help. I couldn't help get the uh, gun set on, trained onto the thing. Like the uh, left and right axis went really slow. Shut up! I don't know if I... Yeah, I do. Because, uh, let me let me move this. First of all. I mean, I don't suppose I actually need to bother moving anything over there. I know the first... Fucking hell. As I was saying... I remember the first time I played this, I spent ages trying to build like a... I, I built like a... like a ladder thing across there, and then discovered that I don't think... you don't think you can actually get on these. So I spent ages doing it and then realised I couldn't jump on. Look at that. Would you look at the seas of that boy's head? Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna put you here. And six. And I'm gonna try and jump off this bastard this time before uh they Happy days. Go on, get in. Alon systems deactivated. Thanks. 
two. The same one. Yeah. Oh well. It's out of the way. So where do I get? Stop it. I did I miss that before? Security log number 3072 for Delta Security Chief Michael Abrams, November 15th, 2145. I've just come from the armament division where I was issued one of the new BFG 9000 series weapons. <laughs> well, they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models. Won't be so bad carrying this one around. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple of weeks now, many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get spun up on the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Labs. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach them on any comm channel. I guess I'll have to go over there myself. Well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security report in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this BFG locked in my office for now. Please have IT security change my door code to 901. Sure as hell don't need anyone messing around with it. 
Chief Abrams, end of log. <laughs> Jurassic Park. Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Uh, today I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about demons, pools of blood, it's real fire and brimstone stuff. At first I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job. The last was Robert Clayton. Now, I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out gravel as tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation, it's really freaked me out. I'm gonna put in for a transfer as soon as I'm able. hell
Um, there must be a code somewhere for that door. It's... be the same one, can it? the right way. This saving is really an opportune. You don't have much time. You're going to need to teleport across the containment chamber. It's the only way through this part of the complex. Head into the chamber and initiate the sequence on the machine. I'll take care of the rest. I'm Gee, thank you. thanks. Look, but before you go, what? I want you to take something. It's a journal I made about the experiments. Those things. It's all there. It'll explain everything. Get to someone so this never happens again. My name is Ian McCormick. I'm a research specialist stationed on Mars, working for the UAC. My primary job is 
or rather was, to assist Dr. Malcolm Petruger in a variety of experiments, though for the past year we've been focusing almost exclusively on teleportation. I don't know if I'll make it out of here alive, so I'm recording this video log to let someone know what happened. And with that knowledge, prevent it from happening again. Initially, the teleportation experiments were amazing. We were creating a new science. The prospects of it changing our way of life were, well, they were outstanding. I was proud to be associated with such an amazing project and someone as talented as Dr. Petruger. We noticed early on, well, probably before we had completed maybe a dozen successful tests, that there was a variable delay during the teleportation. The objects are broken down at the quantum level, transported, and then mm -hmm. assembled. Each stage of the process should have been instantaneous, but it, it wasn't. And we didn't know why. We sent a video drone through and were shocked at the images and sent back. Just a few frames of video right before the drone came back through showed what appeared to be several sets of eyes looking directly at the probe. We had just found a living, breathing creature that was not human. But Truger immediately sent out a request for volunteers. He specifically wanted UAC security force members because he wanted to capture one of these creatures. <sighs> I've made a lot of mistakes, but I am most ashamed of my involvement during the next phase. To get medical clearance to send human subjects through the device, I, I doctored up several of our reports to indicate that we had performed living tissue experiments. Naughty, naughty. I did not regret it at the time, but a few days later, when our third test subject came back, he was chewing off his own fingers. Seemed he was clinically insane. He started sending teams in about once every two days. Experiences, sightings of things that ultimately made us conclude that the other dimension was not just another dimension. In fact, it was yet another dimension. We were bringing back demons. demons, and then Petruger, he went through the portal himself. I don't know what he was thinking. It was an unscheduled trip, and he just went, and we couldn't stop him. When he came back, he had changed. He sounded. Looked the same, but he just. I, I don't know, he was just different. And then he did the unthinkable. He took the soul cube, the device that was discovered in the ruins, into uh -oh. the portal. The portal stabilizers just started to fail. And then, living hell erupted into the base. Oh, we were stupid for not destroying the portals as soon as we realized what was on the other side. Yes. Oh God, forgive me. I blame myself for my part in this. I Please, do too. Someone, never let this happen again. I'm sorry, Ian McCormick. Well, there you have it. So that's basically what happened. Process started. And how all of this started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. You too. Right, now we should be able to fart about with this. After we've done this. Systems activated. This ain't going to be good, is it? This is not going to be good. Two, one. just happened. Oh, 
Alrighty then. Civilized. The jury's out on whether that was a good tactic or not. Close to me getting nuked by the uh, teleport thing then. One, three. Give it.
the hell was that? Oh, blew him out of his clothes, so to speak. Is that um, a what's it? What do you call them? Sorcerer things. I hate them things in Doom 2. second still up there something's still up there right There he is. Large file. God damn it. What a chaos. Interesting. Who said that? 
Ah, oh, you surprised me. Oh, well, yeah. I'm glad to see you. I would have hoped they would have sent more than just one guy, though. I've been studying one of the specimens we brought back to see if there's something physiological that would be a weakness, a way to stop them. I found nothing so far. Well, his shotgun seems to be doing well. I'm gonna stay here and keep looking. It's the only thing I can do. There are combat supplies in the storage cabinet in the next room. The code is 624. I hope you can use it. Well, the code or the stuff in the locker? things I'm gonna stay here and keep working I'll okay my findings into the database you're going to die you're gonna die Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, why does it do that? To the Delta Complex Stasis Chambers. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon-based life forms with extremely high heat tolerances. The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which is complicated internal studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength Upside down. Fool. So
Well, if it was sent to me PDA, I can't bloody find it. Sorry, buddy. We don't need to do that. Not good. Locker number now. Oh, God, I hate that. Three, seven, one. No way.
Dumpty Dumpty. Welcome to the Delta Complex Stasis Chambers. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon-based life forms with mm. extremely high heat tolerances. We've the epidermal this. tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision. found throughout the ruins. What clues we have been able to piece together reveal a culturally advanced society whose technology can only be described as mystic, as evidenced by you one strange characteristics. The radiation scanning methods have failed to provide reliable identification of the molecular makeup of this artifact. The object cannot be weighed, and in all tests, we've been unable to determine its mass. All attempts to physically manipulate or open the artifact have been met with no success. We also have had no success in deciphering the symbol of the point. That is not funny. Uh, this is the audio log of research director Larry Bullman, October 19th, 2145. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling the soul cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of weapon. Uh, if the power fluctuations would stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU online, then I am sure what you my theory would be verified. You, relic codenamed you know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge yet another complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this godforsaken base is bad enough without having to watch the lights flicker constantly. It's just... Well, never mind. Back to the task at hand. What I've deciphered so far is a bit, I must say, disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, if one inflicts damage or possibly kills I another being, and extracts power from that event somehow, once a certain it. threshold has been reached, the artifact has the ability to kill anything you attack with it. How you attack with it, I'm frankly not certain, indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. To date, I have only deciphered about mm, two thirds, give or take, of the markings, but my initial glance at the rest of them indicates it harbors some far greater power. As you the know, at this time we have not weighed. seen any reaction from the cube, and it has withstood any scanning, abrasion, or other test beyond picking it up and examining it. I suspect that just like the civilization that constructed it, its capabilities are diminished to the point of being useful only as a pain point. End of log. How did he start shooting me before he even turned around? <sighs> What's this bloody thing now? 
not interested. Because I've already heard it being parroted. How did he stop shooting? Geographic region where UAC researchers have not been able to see. Which one was it now? Okay, I think I'm going to call it a day here. So, thanks for watching everyone, and I will be back soon with the next one. Thanks for watching.